Birthdays! You have them, I have them, we all have them. Tomorrow is my 20th birthday, so I should probably make an app. I made bread? Sonic the Hedgehog mobile games. This Yay! little blue gumball is not only the bane of my existence, but he also has a fair few mobile games. From Sonic Dash to Sonic Jump to Sonic Does My Taxes to the plethora of classic ports, he's really got it all covered. And yet, there is one game that you cannot play at all through official means anymore. Of course, I am talking about the Sonic the Hedgehog 20th Anniversary mobile app. I bet you weren't expecting that. So, let's take a little look-see into the app, including its history and even its contents. And I might even show you how you can install it yourself. Well, with a catch. This is the Sonic Mobile game you cannot play anymore. Come on! Okay, so, the year is 2011 the 20th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. And there were celebrations all over the place, the biggest being the release of Sonic Generations, arguably the most put together game in the franchise. But that wasn't the only Sonic game released this year. As a part of the celebrations, Sega released the Sonic the Hedgehog 20th anniversary app, which acted sort of as a hub for all things Sonic on mobile up until that point. It initially released in June 2010 for Japanese iOS users, and September 2011 for the rest of the world. This 20th anniversary app was a free companion for mobile users to consume all things Sonic, including news, wallpapers, information on current Sonic Mobile titles and exclusive games? No, Baby Seth came in clutch because he had it installed on his old iPhone 3G, so high five. Oh, oh god. Um, let's head to the desk and check this out. Ah yes, Jetpack Joyride and Sonic the Hedgehog, two things man needs to survive. As we head into the app, we are greeted with a couple of options. This is the game section. We've got Sonic 4 Episode 1 Lite, Sonic the Sketchhog, and Leaderboard. We've also got Twitter, but that doesn't really do anything. Before we jump into all of this, we've also got the web section. Which, weirdly, this one works. It's definitely a time capsule of what Sonic was back in 2011, but yeah, it, it, it kind of works, although nothing will load. We've also got game info, which is essentially a bunch of different screenshots and information about Sonic mobile games that were available at the time, and this just will not load. Don't tell me the app's frozen. It's never done this. It's- oh my goodness. You don't know that it's frozen though. Okay, maybe it is. Oh, come on! <laughs> right, as I was saying before the app crashed, this is the game info section, which basically just gives us a bunch of information about Sonic titles at the time, and it just gives us some screenshots as well. You know, just in case you didn't know what Sonic the Hedgehog was. You can't get most of these now. The old versions of Sonic 1, 2, and Spinball aren't completely unobtainable through official means. Now, onto the meat and bones of the app. This is the games. Here is Sonic 4 Episode 1. Kind of. It's a one minute trial of the game, so let's see how far we can get. Oh my goodness. Yeah, apparently I can't get that far. I can't even beat the level. Honestly, as a tool to get people to purchase the main title, it probably would have been best to give us full access to the first zone, or at least let us finish the first act, because this is just underwhelming. But for the most part, you can still play Sonic for a mobile to this day on both Android and iOS. But you know what you can't play? The best Sonic game released in the 2010s. Sonic the Sketchhog, baby! You can only officially experience this game through the anniversary app, and granted you're not missing a whole bunch. You hear that? That's a remix of Sonic 4's Splash Hill Zone, and honestly it sounds better than the actual game. It's a pretty simple title, it's an auto runner, and you can double jump to attack enemies or just completely avoid them, and that's pretty much it, and I don't know why it's paused. 
It's a really fun time though, and I remember playing this game to hell and back when I was younger, and honestly probably introduced me to the franchise properly. I, th now that I say that, 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 that's weird. Interestingly, this game appears to be a reskin of an Xbox game that was in partnership with Nike called Sonic X Vapor. That game also used the Sonic 4 soundtrack, however it took inspiration from the classics rather than using this doodle style. However, I still suck at this game, I'm terrible at it even 10 years later. Maybe Maybe it's time we return to the cheap green screen. So, for all my iOS folk out there, how can you play this game? Link down below will be the IPA file for the 1.1 version of the game. However, here's the catch, you will need a device that runs iOS 9 or below. Also link down below will be the free website service install on air. Simply upload the IPA file, then follow the QR code given on your iOS device. From there, you'll be given the option to download the anniversary app, no jailbreak needed. Unfortunately, Apple are incredibly picky with what can and cannot be playable on their devices, and even if you were to jailbreak your device, to my knowledge, there is no way you could run this game on newer devices. So, that's it. I want to take this time to thank you guys for the incredible support as of recently. We just hit 4,000 subscribers, and that's incredible. My goal this year is to hit 5,000 subscribers. So, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Sonic content, then remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But you've heard that one on YouTube a million times. Alrighty, bye for now.